Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, D and they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, P. For the circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, P, C is uh, four units, whereas this uh, segment uh, A, C is uh, five. And by the way, this AC is uh, our chord uh, as well. And moreover, this uh, segment uh, PB is being represented by X plus 5. And this segment uh, PD is uh, 2X uh, minus 5. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, given uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Before we could calculate uh, the radius uh, of this uh, circle, we must find the value of uh, x first. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APC. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets 3, 4 uh, and 5. We know our this uh, hypotenuse is 5 and this leg uh, is 4. So therefore our this uh, side AP is going to be 3 units. So thus we figured out our this uh, segment uh, AP as 3 units. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect uh, in a circle, uh, then the products of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see these chords uh, AC and BD intersect uh, each other such that uh, this segment uh, A times this segment uh, B is going to be equal to this segment uh, C times this segment D as you can see in this equation A times B equal to C times D so therefore for these two intersecting chords in our case uh, a b and c d i'm going to label uh, this segment as lowercase a this segment uh, lowercase b this segment lowercase c and this segment uh, lowercase uh, d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so a in our case is 3 times uh, b is uh, x plus 5 is going to be equal to c in our case is uh, 4 times uh, 2x uh, minus uh, 5 and now we are going to distribute this one and this one that's going to give us uh, 3x uh, plus 15 is going to be equal to 8x uh, minus uh, 20 and now I'm going to move this uh, 3x uh, on the other side uh, and at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 20 on the opposite direction as well so therefore we are going to have uh, 8x uh, minus uh, 3x equals to 15 uh, plus uh, 20 and here if we subtract that's going to give us uh, 5x equals to 35 let me divide both sides uh, by 5 to isolate x uh, so therefore our x value turns out to be seven uh, units so let's go ahead and substitute this uh, x uh, by seven over here two times seven is going to give us 14 minus uh, five is going to give us uh, nine units and likewise we are going to substitute uh, x uh, value as seven over here seven plus five is going to give us uh, 12 so therefore uh, our this uh, bp length uh, turns out to be 12 and this uh, PD length uh, is uh, 9 and here's our next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular OE on this uh, chord uh, AB and likewise I have dropped uh, this uh, another perpendicular OF uh, on this uh, chord uh, CD as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole chord a B length uh, is going to be 3 plus 12 uh, is going to give us uh, 15 and likewise uh, this chord length uh, C D is going to be 4 plus 9 is going to give us uh, 13 
And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then uh, the radius uh, bisects the chord. And here we can see this uh, perpendicular OE is perpendicular on this uh, chord AB. So therefore, uh, this uh, AE length uh, is going to be equal to EB length. So therefore, uh, this segment EB is going to be 15 divided by 2. And likewise, this other segment uh, is going to be 15 divided by 2 as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, OF is perpendicular on this uh, chord CD. So that means uh, this segment uh, CF is going to be equal to this uh, segment FD. So therefore, uh, this segment is going to be half of 13. So this is going to be 13 divided by 2. And likewise, uh, this is going to be 13 uh, divided by 2, this uh, segment. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, segment uh, CF uh, is uh, 13 uh, divided by 2. And this uh, segment uh, CP is uh, 4. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, PF is going to be 13 uh, divided by 2 minus uh, 4. And if we simplify, that segment is going to be 5 uh, divided by 2. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, PF turns out to be 5 divided by 2. And now we can see if this uh, segment is 5 divided by 2, then this segment uh, OE is going to be 5 divided by 2 as well. And now in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OEB. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Let me label this radius as lowercase r. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OEB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is a lowercase r. And other two legs are 5 divided by 2 and 15 divided by 2. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to get uh, 5 divided by 2 whole square plus uh, 15 uh, divided by 2 whole square equals to our radius r square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 25 divided by 4 plus uh, 225 divided by 4 equals to r square. This could be written as 25 plus uh, 225 with the common denominator as for equal to r square and now we can see on the numerator 225 plus 25 is going to give us 250 so therefore we can write uh, r square equals to 250 divided by 4 let me undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our radius uh, r is going to be on the numerator, this could be written as 5 times square root of 10 divided by 2 units. So thus the radius of this circle turns out to be 5 times square root of 10 divided by 2 units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 7.91 units as well. So therefore, I can write the radius of this circle is going to be approximately equal to 7.91 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye